Welcome to a video on linear modeling in a practical situation. We have a situation here where we have a home originally valued at $138,400. It increases in value according to the table after n years. So if you note on the table, it says the year n being 0 is the year 2000, and so on. n being 1 is 2001. So this kind of has an extra column on the table here on the far left. It tells you what N corresponds to, what year. Anyway, it says let's fill in the table below with the average rate of increase from the first year to each of the following years, and then find the overall rate, average rate of increase, and the value of the home over the five-year span. So um, the average uh, change in value from year to year in dollars per year would be dollars over years. So that's the slope, basically, from... Uh, 138,400 to 141,000 in one year. So that would give us 140. Okay, so we have 141,000 minus 138,400 over. And then the 2 minus 1, or 1 minus 0, of course that's just 1. And that's going to give us uh, $2,600 is going to be our increase. $2,600, that's going to be. So now we're going to do the same thing for the next value. But this, is, of course, is supposed to be from, it's the average rate from the first year. So it goes from here all the way to here. So that's our, our rise. It's going to be from 138,400 to 144,120. And so we'll do that. 144,120 minus the 138,400. Now that is going to be over 2 minus 0. Of course, that's just two years. You don't have to minus 0 every time. And then we'll do that calculation. Then the next calculation is going to go to 147,240. 147,240 minus the 138,400. Because we're doing an average rate of increase. That's a comma, not a one. <laughs> um, over three, basically. And we just continue that to the end. So I'll go ahead and pause the video and finish that. So, having continued on, you see these are all the average rates of change in the value of the home over the five years. And then our last value, the 33,068, that is going to be our overall average for the five years. Now it says to find a linear equation that would model the data reasonably well, although we know that this may not be best suited for a linear model. We'll just take a note of that. Notice it starts out at 2600, then it goes to 2860, 294767. It's getting bigger and bigger every time. So that's not a very consistent difference or average differences in those values. So this is probably, you know, better suited to a different type of model, maybe exponential uh, or some other type of model that we aren't discussing necessarily in this class. Anyway, this says to find a linear equation, so we'll use the 3068 as our average rate of change or our slope, in this case like D or M, whatever you want to refer to it as. We call the slope M in most algebra, basic algebra classes. It's also referred to as D in this, in your text that we use here. So the uh, remember that the y equals mx plus b, or in our case now we're using p sub n is equal to d times n plus p sub 0. And you can see up here our p sub 0 is $138,400. And so our formula should be p sub n should be equal to 3,068 n plus 138,000. $400. Okay, that's a 3. Okay, so now the next question asks, according to the model, when will the value of the home exceed 175000 
$216. So you could you could just keep, you know, estimate just by looking, but using the model, that means you're going to use this equation. And so we'll come up here and say for part C, we have 175,216 is our P value. That's the value of the house. And it's going to equal to 3,068N plus 138. 400. So to solve that, we'll just come over here. Let's change colors, and we'll say that's we'll subtract 138,400 from both sides of the equation. We'll get rid of that and subtract it from this side of the equation minus 138,400, and that will give us a new equation. So that equation becomes that's 36,816. Oops. Some colors here. Again, 36,816 is equal to 3068n. Dividing both sides by 3068, we get n by itself. And that will give us n is equal to doing that division gives us 12. So that would be 12 years. That would be the year 2012 if it asked for what year would that be. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.